Dr. Ahmed Al Hasni here from the Institute of Digital Dentistry. And in this video, I will show you what you get with Allied Star's newest scanner, the AS200E. Some of you may be wondering, who is Allied Star? Well, they are an intraoral scanner manufacturer from Shanghai, China. I reviewed their previous generation scanner, the AS100, last year and found it to be one of the best low cost scanner options. It is fast, economical, and accurate. Now the company has released their second generation product, the AS200E, a wireless version of that scanner. Interestingly, a lot of R&D went into this wireless tech, and it seems that wireless scanner technology is going to be the next market trend. The recommended retail price of this scanner is 16,000 USD. This means it's much cheaper than other wireless scanner options currently on the market, like 3Shape Trios 5, Trios 4, Medit i700 Wireless, and the Dexus CS3800. At a cost of 16,000 USD, it is quite an attractive option for those looking for an economical wireless scanner. Remember that the non-wireless version, the AS100, is 12,000 USD, so you are only paying $4,000 more for the wireless capability. The scanner is more than just a wireless version of the previous generation model. The company has advised me that the optics engine has been redesigned to improve stability and the scanner circuits have been significantly changed to improve image quality and accuracy. But that's enough talk. Let's crack open the box and see what we find. All right, so this is the AS200E and as we can see, it comes in this kind of hard shell case. So. If we open it up, let's see what we can find. Now, with the Allied Star 200E, this is pretty much everything you get. As usual, some user manuals, some technical specifications. We'll just put these to the side. And here's everything. First things first, this is the Allied Star 200E. And I have to say, this looks like quite a, quite a futuristic and quite a cool looking product actually. Uh, I have the previous generation Allied Star 100 here, and as you can see, there's quite a big difference in the two scanners now. This used to look a little bit more economical, a little bit more budget, where this actually looks like quite a premium product. And if we look at the scanner a little bit more, what we can see is that the scanner itself has two buttons. This is the scanning button at the top, and you have this mode button now, which has this M on it. Now this mode button is to shift through or pass through the workflow in the scanning software. What I mean is that if you're scanning the upper arch, you press this mode button, it will take you to the lower arch and then to the bite. Apart from that, that's pretty much it. Just like the previous generation scanner, we have these two scanner buttons on both sides, which is a really cool feature. It means that regardless of which way you're holding the scanner, you're always in reach to start the scanning process. We also have these two indicators here. Now these indicators are for battery power. This indicator will tell you how much battery is left because as I mentioned, this is a wireless scanner and we'll get into that in a second. And you have the connection status here. Now with the Allied Star 200E, just like the previous generation scanner, you have this protective cap. And with the scanner, you get four scanning tips. Now the company does tell me that these are the exact same scanning tips as the previous generation scanner. They are just a different color. These scanning tips cost 20 USD per tip, and they can be autoclaved up to 60 times. That means about 33 cents per patient. Just like the previous generation AS100, these scanning tips can only be put on one way. So this is not a reversible scanning tip. And this is basically the scanner in all its glory. As you can see, it's actually quite small. It's quite lightweight. And exactly how much this weighs is 245 grams, which makes it one of the lightest wireless scanners on the market. It is a bit heavier than the AS100, which was around 198 grams. But obviously it's going to be heavier because of all the wireless technology in the scanner. So let's see what else comes in the box here. Here we have a docking station. So this is the Allied Star 200E docking station. And you might be wondering, I mean, how does the scanner fit onto this? And the reason being is that you use the second part, which doubles as the docking station for the scanner, but it is also the wireless charging station. 
So how this works is that you slide the wireless charging station into this mount. And just like that, if you sit this down, you can place the AS200E into its charging station. So if I just put this to the side and we look at what else we get into the box, there's a few more pieces. Here we have a charging cable. And this is a USB-C charging cable. And so where this plugs into is at the back of this wireless charging station. So you place this into here and this can go into your laptop. And this is how you're going to charge the AS200E. The other thing we have here is the batteries. So with the Allied Star 200E, you get two batteries with the scanner. Now the company tells me that you can replace these batteries and they cost 60 USD each. It's very simple. So how this works is you have this locking mechanism here at the back of the scanner and you can open it up like so and then place the battery. The battery goes in there, you lock the scanner up and that is the scanner ready for charging and ready to scan. The last thing we have in the box with the Allied Star 200E is a wall mount. So they give you a couple of screws and a wall mount that, you know, it's a good thing is that it matches the docking color and everything. And this can be used to mount this onto a wall if you wish. And that's basically it. That's everything you get with the Allied Star 200E. And I have to say, when you look at the scanner, this is not exactly something that you would expect to come out of China really. I mean, a lot of the previous Chinese scanners, they, they looked a little bit more economical, let's say. I mean, if I show you the difference between these two scanners and this second generation product, the company has really stepped up the appearance, the, the, how stylish this scanner looks. And I have to say, it looks like quite a premium product. The other thing to realize is that the Allied Star 200E is one of only four wireless scanners on the market. So the, the two scanners such as the Meta i700 wireless and the Trios 5, they go for a battery charging station. So with those scanners you have to take the batteries out and place them into a charging station and they create the design so it's easy for you to take the batteries in and out. With the CS3800 and the AS200E, that is not the case. It is expected that you put a battery in and you always have it put onto the dock and it's always charging and ready to go. Now, the last piece of the puzzle is how does the scanner actually talk to your laptop? And this is where this wireless adapter comes in. Now, this is a wireless adapter that the company has sent me and you may notice it's not actually inside the box. And the reason for that is that dealers and end users are actually expected to buy this themselves and supply them based on their kind of just local wireless adapter. So you will need to find a local wireless adapter that you're going to use or make sure this is supplied by your dealer. Now this wireless adapter will just plug into your laptop and this is what's gonna basically create that connection between the wireless scanner and your laptop. And that's basically everything you get in the box with the AS200E. So there you have it. This concludes the unboxing of the Allied Star 200E iOS, the latest wireless scanner to enter the market. It is incredible how the price of intraoral scanners keeps decreasing due to market pressure, which is undoubtedly beneficial for dentists globally. As you can see, the Allied Star 200E is a big step up over its predecessor. And once again, it's only 16,000 USD. For those of you who may have read my Allied Star 100 scanner review, the previous generation scanner, you would know that I thought it was a great scanner, but the software let it down somewhat. The company has informed me they've taken this on board, and they are working hard on releasing a new software platform that will introduce things like patient management, case management, and software apps. It will be interesting to see how the market responds to these low-cost scanners because the Chinese companies are catching up. Anyway, that's enough for this video. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for our full review on the scanner, which will be released on our website at instituteofdigitaldentistry.com. Thank you.